Hello, this is Daryl Spears with TheBeatConversations.com. Just want to encourage you to go out and take a look at my business partner for today. Our strategy today is to focus on those business relationships that can help you grow, especially as a new owner or social solopreneur. It's so important to have those quality relationships. Three reasons why it's important is one, you need help. As a new owner, a uh, solopreneur, especially when you're in business full time for yourself, there's so much on your plate, you're wearing so many hats, and it's important to find strategic relationships that can even help you in business. Second thing is knowledge. Uh, we need more and more knowledge as we grow in business. Uh, we come into business with a particular gift, with a particular skill, and we're excellent at that. But there's so many other components of business that we need help and support in. And then last but not least, we need people to help us get connected to help us uh, get through some doors, to reach individuals that'll be assets to us or might even be a client for us. So it's important to build those quality relationships. And this article talks about five different types of relationships that are very important. The first one is your general relationships. These are individuals with people that know you well, that support you, that encourage you. These are your family members and friends. And the reason they're important because they can help you in those times where it's uh, crunch time, you have deadlines, you need to get things done, you're having an event, and they will jump in and give you help for a season. And it's important because not only do you get support, but a lot of times they're willing to volunteer to provide that help, and it helps you in terms of maintaining your budget, which is critical as a new business or startup. Second person is that um, confidant. The confidants are important. These are people that have probably been knowing you for years. They not only know you in your business, but they know your personal life, know your family, they know your, your passion, your vision, your secrets, and all that good stuff. And the reason they're important is because they can keep you uh, level. Um, they can tell you those things and be transparent and give you that um, constructive criticism because you get so busy and get caught up in your day to day they can see things beyond that and say, hey, you know, you need to change this or do this. And it's important to get that type of information and not just having somebody that's just gonna tell you what you wanna hear instead of telling you what you need to hear. Third person is that mentor or champion. These individuals are critical. Unlike your confidant uh, who may or may not be in business, your mentor and your champion must be in business. These are individuals that have been in business a while, they have been successful in business, they have built connections, they're well thought of in business, and you can really tap into them. And they can not only provide knowledge, but they can give you guidance and open some doors for you to get connected and get some clients. So really, you really, really want to um, have quality mentors and champions. The fourth thing is your consultants and coaches. These individuals you're going to have to pay for, most likely. And you want to pay for them because these individuals are very skilled at a particular area. They are the best of the best, and you just want to make sure you're getting top-notch uh, support and services. So you're willing to pay for them. But these, this, the coaches and the consultants, you really have to do more homework in selecting these individuals, make you, making sure you vet them well, making sure you get referrals. And I talk about a lot of that in the article. And the last thing are business alliances. I really share a lot of um, information with my clients in, when, in terms of coaching sessions of how important it is to have business alliance partners, especially as a new business owner. Uh, this is critical because these individuals have um, complimentary services where they not, they're not your competitors, but they serve your target market. So their services or products complement what you do. So you can use them in a variety of ways to grow your business, to save money, to partner up. So take a look at the article and I talk about ways that you guys can do things together and it makes everything uh, much better, it helps speed up your knowledge process, it helps speed up your your growth in terms of getting clients. You really can target the same market. So really uh, look at that part of the article. And as a bonus, I talk a little bit about virtual assistants. Um, that's really critical for those, again, that are solopreneurs, that are in business for yourself. Because there are certain times where you just need to have some extra hands, some extra help 
And it's okay to pay for that because you're just paying as you go. You pay for, you know, maybe a week of service. So that's a very, very good resource. Um, it might not be a business relationship or connection, but they are a great resource to help you in business. So please check out the article. There is the link where you can check it out. Also, if you'd like to contact me, I am a business success strategist. You can reach me at dcspears at eliteconversations.com. I'll be glad to talk to you about your business. Also, go to eliteconversations.com. Not only do we have um, services and products, but we do a lot of um, events. We really provide a lot of information to help individuals get connected. We have video. Let me know if you like it. If you didn't like it, um, and I'll be glad to um, provide feedback to you as well. So have a great day, and I hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.